to treat these people like sensitive children. Big smiles. Wave, Lani. Wave like you mean it. Hi. Hi, Murray. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Where I didn't, I missed, where, you're in Mexico City? I am not. I am oh. uh, from, I am from Bulgaria, but I'm currently, ah. in, I'm currently in Sicily. <laughs> oh, Sicily. I, I heard <laughs> something that sounded like city and it sounded no, like Mexico City. No, that's my Lucky name. You. It's really long. It's Stanislava. So that's, <laughs> that's where we found uh, the <laughs> uh, Well, lucky so, you in Sicily. Oh, thank you. Where are you right now? I'm on Cape Cod in Massachusetts in the US. Oh, it's not that bad for you either. It's really <laughs> beautiful here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta say that you look very different from Armand. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and I and I mean that in the best possible way because it's a compliment. <laughs> I took it that way. Thank you. <laughs> I think I think he's quite interesting, strange guy. Um, tell me more about him and how do you prepare to play a guy like him? Well, you know, I think the amazing thing about being an actor is I think all these kinds of characters exist in us, you know, and so you have to recognize that part of yourself and then kind of pull it out. Um, but also Mike White, the creator, writer, director of this show is a brilliant writer and he wrote a really complex, amazing character. So it, you know, it made all of our jobs really easy because a lot of it is on the page. But, you know, I, I mean, this it's also the kind of character that you, you look, you read it and you're like, oh my God, this is what an opportunity it's so fun and it's so kind of it has such a roller coaster ride you know so it's like it's a joyful experience as an actor because you get to really go on that but it's you know it's it's also it's a little confronting watching a character like this back i don't know that i'll watch it more than once <laughs> But it was a joy to play. I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you do. Well, yeah, <laughs> I do. The goal is to disappear behind our masks as pleasant, interchangeable helpers. It's tropical kabuki. Aloha. A happy to be here. We're on our honeymoon. You're such valued guests. Welcome to the White Lotus. Where, where do you, where are you based now? Are you based in Massachusetts permanently or you go back to Australia or how do you mix Australia and the US? I, I've been living in, in New York for many years, for almost 20 years. Uh, so that's been my base for work. Um, I spend a lot of time up uh, in Massachusetts now. Uh, I, I started coming up here and then the pandemic happened here and everything kind of, you know, was uh, shut down here. So I spent a lot of time up here, but I'm, I'm technically based in New York. But now, you know, everything, production moves around. And so I, 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 you can kind of be anywhere in a way, um, I hope. That's what I'm, that's what I'm sort of uh, thinking. Uh, so hopefully that'll work. And I, you know, I, I miss Australia terribly. My family's all there. So I try and get back once a year, but uh, I'm, I'm firmly based in the US for now anyway. You haven't lost your accent. I, I know. I don't know what that is. I, I feel like it. I haven't. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't worked at it. I don't know. And I have to do an American accent often. So I'm not sure why I've kept my Australian accent, but that's I just that's just me, I guess. What do you think is the type of audience that will um, that the White Lotus will appeal to? Because it has very human story and human relationships. Yet at the same time, you have this darkness that you feel the entire time. And I feel it's very relevant because nowadays the world feels very dark, more than usual, I guess. Um, yeah. So what, what, what do you think, how will the audience uh, react? And what do you think is the type of audience for the White Lotus? I hope it's a really wide audience because I, I feel like this is a great show for a lot of people to see, particularly now, as you said, you know, I think there's there's a lot of um, less likable aspects of human nature rearing their head. And, and a lot of that division, I feel like, comes from some of the things that this show is about, like a feeling of privilege, you know, of, of, of cultural privilege or racial privilege or economic privilege that divides us. And I feel like, you know, the, the more that we can then move out of that division, the better for us. Uh, so I, 
but I think that this show strikes a really great balance of being, I think it's really, it's a great group of actors uh, for a start and some really recognizable actors. So I think hopefully that will, you know, draw some people in, but I think it's really funny as well as having this like really dark edge to it. Um, definitely. It's, you know, Mike White does this sort of beautiful dance of making it very funny and relatable and then like kind of twists a knife, you know? And I think that that, is really clever because it's it's very appealing to a lot of people but it's it's not shying away from telling the message that it has i totally agree thank you very much for your time and uh, thank you too everybody watches the white lotus and i love armand as, as weird and twisted <laughs> as he is <laughs> yeah, i'm glad thank you so much it's lovely to you. talk to you you too nice to meet you mom you look deranged that's all right i have a filter for that I don't think it's the most romantic hotel in Hawaii, do you? <laughs> okay. Nice. These people make me want to gouge my eyes out.